Well, look who I have on Skype, Holla Chatelaine. Welcome. Thank you. Hello, Alex. It's great to see you. Isn't technology wonderful? Yes, it's it's truly amazing. So anyways, we're talking to everybody who was in the movie Stitched. And I was wondering, um, how did you feel when you saw yourself on it? Because that can be kind of, ah! Well, I was really pleasantly surprised because I thought that they just did such a wonderful job and they they made us all look kind of natural and like ourselves, which was really neat. Mike, okay, what I was wondering in watching you three, when you go to make a quilt, I mean, look at that quilt behind you. I, I, it's the best. When you go to make a quilt, do you think, I am going to make this quilt to win, or or I just make it and then hope it might win, or, or does the entering it come after the fact? I mean, tell me what you're thinking inside on that. Well, I think that when I start to make a quilt, I, I'm, I'm making a quilt because I have to make it. It usually comes from a dream, and if I don't, if I don't carry through and make it, then I dream it again and again. And this quilt behind me, when I dreamed it, I really made it because I wanted it to go into the Imagine Hope exhibition because it talks about children and, and the story of children throughout, throughout the world. But in reality, I only apply to the, the quilt show in Houston. So I don't make quilts for competitions. That's the only one I applied to. And one of the big reasons I apply to, to that show is because I regularly teach there and I really, really like the show and hang the, how they hang the quilts and all of that. So I don't, I don't necessarily make a quilt for a competition, but I do try to apply to Houston. And so the quilt behind you, we aren't going to tell people, you know, if they didn't go to Houston, this is the quilt that you are making in the movie Stitched and that you're submitting, right? Well, this yes, this is last year. That's what right, the one right. I made last year and I did submit, yes. And we won't say what you got. You got to watch the movie. Yes. Now, today you've got some exciting news. Yes, today I found out that the quilt that I applied to Houston with this year was accepted. So that was exciting for me because it was a quilt that, again, I felt the absolute need to to make, and I wasn't even sure it would get accepted. And what's it of? Uh, well, it's a self-portrait. <laughs> and? I've been through a lot of turmoil in the last two years, and this was uh, kind of helping me deal with that, and I think it was closure for a lot of things. Okay. Now, what, can you tell us what you're working on now, or is that a big top secret? Well, yeah, no, it's not a secret at all. Right now I'm working on the quilt for the what is it, the Stanley Cup mm -hmm. quilt series mm -hmm. uh, for the Alzheimer's Art Quilt Initiative. And uh, this is the third year in a row that I have made a quilt. And you know we do have teams. And, of course, our team won the last two years, and we're going to win again this year. Now, who's on your team? Am I on your uh, team? Uh, Becky Goldsmith, Sue Nichols, and John Flynn, and myself. Oh, no, no, no. My team is going to win. We will just have to wait and see about that, and, won't we? And let's tell everybody, because I'm kind of new to this, how do people win? Like, how to explain uh, the team deal. Because I know people can vote for, like, a buck and then or something like that at Houston, right? Well, they can. it's not only at Houston. You can go online and do that. What they do is um, there are now three teams, and we are all – going against, we all make a quilt, and we're going against each other to find out who can come up with the most money, which team can come up with the most money. And you come up with that money uh, in several ways. Number one, the quilt would be auctioned off, and I believe that's in November, uh -huh. and the auction takes place on the um, Art, uh, Alzheimer's Art Quilt Initiative website. The second thing is, if you really like a quilt and you can't really afford to bid on it, you can vote as it being your favorite quilt, and each vote costs a buck, and that all goes also to the to the Alzheimer's research. And the third thing is they always make some sort of, first year they made T-shirts and mugs, I believe. Last year they made earrings. Right. So you can also buy them. And that is the third way that you can, the money will then go to the team. Well, you have to know that when they recruited me this last year, I just like, I thought, just get a t-shirt that says vote for Pedro. Because, I mean, truly, my quilts are not going to, 
hold up to yours. But I did make a quilt. John said it wasn't good enough, and I made another quilt. You want to share quilts? Sure. Okay, you sure. go first. Mine's not finished yet, though. Mine's done. Oh, gosh. And I saw that Carol Breyer Fowler got hers done, too, because she's on one of the teams. And who is on that team? It's Ricky oh. Matheson, Carol Breyer Fowler. Is Ricky uh, on that team? Uh, Ricky Timms and, and Mary Sorensen. Well, all I can say and, is my, mine's hand quilted. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Mine's let's see. Die. Let's I'm see. Sorry. You want to show? Here it is. Ooh. I don't know nice. if you can see it all, but this year I was lucky enough to be invited to teach in New Zealand and Australia. And while I was there, we visited some of the rainforests. And that's what my quilt is all about because in one rainforest that we went through, there were um, vines that would grow up and around the trees. And eventually the tree that was on the inside would get, would die mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because it was totally encased. Like choked, right? It choked. It yeah. was totally encased by these vines. And when you looked at them, I mean, they were really quite beautiful, but they were hollow on the inside. Mm. And that is the idea of my quilt this year, because I feel like Alzheimer's um, victims are, when the disease takes over, they are kind of lost. Mm -hmm, they mm -hmm. are in the middle, and they're... There's, there's nothing, they're all surrounded by vines in a way. So that's what this is. And there is a, a face here, but the vines are growing up and over top of the face. Each year I have made a quilt that has a face on it and trees that are somehow associated with it. So that's what the quilt is this year. So mine doesn't exactly have deep meaning, but it is. <laughs> but but it's, it's hand quilted. It's hand quilted out of Dupiani silk. Okay, so this is mine. Oh, it's beautiful. do you like that? Oh, I love it. Oh, that's really pretty. People, hand quilted. Hand quilted by Alex Anderson. I didn't even okay. sub it out okay. to anybody. This one is machine no. quilted. No, hand quilted. Hi. Woo! Vote, Vote for me. Vote for me. Me. <laughs> so that is... Alzheimer's research. Yes. So everybody wins in this. Absolutely. And I am honored after I came up with my top to be to be able to play with in Ami's games because I think what she's doing wonderful. Well, I really, really loved the movie Stitched and I loved how you guys really let us in and to see how the whole thing goes down. And I want to thank you so much for being so generous with yourself and your art and your missions and just all the good stuff you bring to the plate, Hollis. Well, thank you so much, Alex. And I'll see you in Houston. Okay, we'll see you in Houston. I'm excited. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right.